Yo, yo. Yep. Hey. So, bringing you guys um, something different uh, tonight. Was talking to Joe. Um, obviously, there's a lot going on in the world. Um, and I wanted to bring in Joe Rob because many of you guys know we have worked extensively before in the past. And, um, you know, life circumstances happen, but we always remain close, always remain cool. And the biggest thing is we're going to always talk Cowboys. So tonight, um, wanted to talk Alden Smith draft, overall Cowboys philosophy moving forward. Um, want to make sure that you guys are safe at home, but I wanted to bring my good buddy, Joe Rodriguez, Cowboys blog to the channel. What's up, Joe? What's up, Foots? Well said, man. I'm ready to do this. Let's talk to these Cowboys and give everybody a treat tonight. All right, Joe. So, jumping right into it, um, just right off the bat, what are your thoughts about Alden Smith? Um, obviously, you cover it on the channel, but I kind of want to just, you know, piggyback. Like, what does this mean? What were your initial thoughts um, because I kind of have my theory, but I wanted to hear yours in an unfiltered way, more or less. Yeah, well, I didn't. I didn't want to go the pessimistic route. I think that's that's been overdone with with Randy Gregory and and things like that. And people want to point to Greg Hardy and this and that, which I, I understand that part. But you know, the NFL is moving towards a different uh, a league now with the CBA and that kind of thing. So, and the Cowboys are. You know, I think they're on the uh, the cutting edge here on giving players second chances. You know, whether you like it or not. And Alden Smith, you know, it's a pretty big name. Nobody really, nobody even had him on the radar. I, you know, totally. we thought he was retired. He kind of fell off the map. But um, yeah, I just looked at it as a uh, as another opportunity and something that we can leverage for the draft. Yeah, um, you know. Your video was the one that really got my mind thinking about the draft, and we'll get to that, but, you know, to kind of piggyback on what you're talking about, Joe, I am normally get kind of irritated with Cowboy signings. Um, you know, ha-ha, Clint Dix, I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, yeah. But can he really play? Yeah. You know, I'm not, we, we'll never, you know, even when I talk with Vach or when I talk with you, Joe, we've always said we're not going to give fans the um, the company line. If a guy can't play or if he's just a body, then, mm -hmm. you know, we, we've always said that, Joe. We, we've told the truth. And, and you know, in, in my studying, haha, -ha, you know, I think he's a body. And now, um, Poe. McCoy, I like. Um, but segueing to Smith, my whole deal was, okay, Dallas must know something, Joe. The Cowboys yeah. must know something that general public doesn't know. Um, because, let's be honest, if he's right, now, granted, this five years ago, but just a special, I mean, more special than even a Randy Gregory. Just a special, special talent. Like, seriously, like uh, all pro type talent that had some run ins with alcohol. I think, had, I believe, had some run ins with marijuana and has been in this program. And the Jay Glazer thing, you know, finding more information out on that, Joe, what did that do for you? Um, did that even, you know, spike your optimism even more? Absolutely. You know, it, it was more. Uh it was more validation on the player because you hear it from Jay Glazer. Jay Glazer runs this program um, called MVP, and it's uh, basically he gets uh, you know MMA fighters, or football players, and you know they work with uh, you know former vets, you know that that have possibly had issues, uh, PS, you know PTSD and that kind of things, or you know whatever, any types of issues. And Alden Smith has been there. Uh, every week, you know, according to, uh, to Glazer, and uh, has really transformed his body. Says he's he's in shape, he's shredded, uh, committed, consistent. I mean, these are the kind of things you want to hear from somebody who's trying to make his way back into the NFL. You know. Yeah. 
so the thing that really sold me, a video was sent to me, shout out to Vach. You know, shout out to everybody in this YouTube community uh, putting out great work. Joe, Vach, Law, the whole nine, everybody. Um, Dallas Cowboys uh, show, Shango, everybody, Mark Holmes, everybody, because um, now is the time <laughs> to be, you know, giving your opinion and doing extensive research. And that's really what, that's why I wanted to get Joe on the show. Now, Joe, when when thinking about the Alden Smith deal, and you see him on Instagram, he's actually on NFL Network right now, I think Jay Glazer was very um, genuine, meaning... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Meaning, it wasn't a um, Cowboys, okay, I'm just going to sell this because it's a Cowboys headline, okay? And I say that because the video was taken of him saying these things about Alden Smith before Alden Smith was a Cowboy, right, Joe? So, first of all, you know what he's saying is truthful, okay? Yeah. It's truthful. He's literally saying all of this. January 20th, I believe, was the date on the TMZ video. Alden Smith is shredded. He's a genuine person. He deserves another shot. He's literally in the best shape of his life. My whole thing was the shape, Joe. The shape. I wanted yeah. to know what's what kind of shape he's in. Okay, so Jay Glazers, he's a trainer. He's really working with these guys. And some guys, like a Dwight Freeney, you know, like a Jason Taylor, they just can play till they're 40 because of their body lean, their body mass. And 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 Alden Smith was he was already one of those type players that was, you know, a uh excuse me, a uh a a a a, a more cut type player. So what that to me is exciting, right, Joe? And then you add the fact that the contract is literally prove it. Like every part of the contract is prove it. What is what does the contract do for you, Joe? Because Steven is is very I'm not gonna say he's tight with his money, but he's he's extremely, you know, I know where my money's going. So the fact that he's giving a guy four million dollars who hasn't played in five years, what is all this saying to you, Joe? Because it just keeps saying to me they know something we don't. Yeah, it, it's a good contract. You know, the base salary I think is like nine hundred k, almost a million. Um, but he's got to earn the rest of it, and I think it's like forty thousand each each game. All right, so forty thousand times you know sixteen games. You know you can do the math. So it's a it's a really good contract for the Cowboys. You know it's a good contract for for both parties. And I, I've said this before: the allure of the star it does it does bring in certain types of uh, players. You know they want to come to the Cowboys, play a one year deal jumpstart the career and go somewhere else. You know, you're talking about like Randall Cobb, he hit on his uh, paycheck, you know? Yeah. We traded for, we traded for, Rand, uh, we traded for Robert Quinn. He made, he, he, he made good on it. You know, he had a good season and capitalized on it. So it's a big opportunity for Alden Smith. You know, if he can show what he's got, capitalize on it, he might earn himself a, a big uh, contract year two. You know, Joe, and that, so, Dallas's track record of the Prove It deal is starting to become something special. Um, Robert Quinn and Randall Cobb, to yeah, I, I hit on that in the video. It was like, okay, Dallas is protecting themselves, but these players are. It's a. It's really a win win for both. Yeah. Um. Which hey, Alden Smith comes in, gets twelve sacks. I'll pay him. Hey, you know he's been sober for some years. He's he's cleaned up. If you can get three more, two more years out of him of good pass rush ability, hey, you mean to tell me that you wouldn't, Joe? So, um, I think I think that also gives us some excitement. All right, Joe, segue into the draft. For you, um, what does this mean? Could there be a trade up? Is the is this Dallas protecting themselves? Because you hit some really good points in the video, and I hell, let's expand on that because right now it's totally draft season. I think that Dallas has done a good job of, if nothing else, they are covered. They can draft free. What does this mean for you, Joe? On April second, what's the April second? What does this mean for you as far as the draft when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys? 
Uh, yeah, if you look at what they're doing in free agency, and, and this has kind of been the pattern. We got a new coach, but the front office treats it the same. You know, you get your your mid tier draft, you get your mid tier free agents, then you supplement it in the draft. Cowboys have done a really good job. If you look what they've done this free agency uh, period, whether it's McCoy, uh, Poe, keeping Anthony Brown, you you have bodies that position. You can you can pretty much go out there and play a game. And even right now, you got Alden Smith. You can go out and play a game and, and feel somewhat comfortable, right? Um, so for me, this now gives the Cowboys real big flexibility to move up and grab themselves a big playmaker. And we talk about the blueprint, championship blueprint. You got to have playmakers. The opportunity is right there in, in front of their face. I, for me, I don't see them moving down because – the, you, the value is not there. You know, you, you want to say you get about 17 to 20 first-round graded players. Well, the Cowboys are right there on, on the cusp. I want to move up. I don't want to move down. And I think with this addition to Alden Smith, it's almost a game-changer. You know, I don't want to go too overboard, but <laughs> you can go get you can go get you a playmaker, a Cuda, if he falls a little bit and it becomes in striking range. That's or the if name, you wanna, Joe. That's the name. That's the name. Yeah, that's the guy, man. I think that's the guy there, and um, so you know, it, 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 so it's wide open. You know? So is this team in win now mode, Joe? For you, it, I feel like it is. Earlier, earlier before the free agency period, this felt almost like a, a rebuild because they let a lot of these people walk. What was the plan? You know, they they kind of have slowly been kind of revealing what the plan is, and now it's coming into focus. I feel like it's more of a reload. Right, that's, we're that's reloading great, now. That's a great word. Uh, with better, with better talent, we're reloading with better with the, the defensive tackle position. It's better, and Alden Smith, you know, he he could be better than than Quinn, you know, and uh, that's good. That's good news for us. Yeah, and, and and I'll be honest, I'm gonna I'm gonna remain open to the Randy Gregory comeback only because, you know, we've seen crazier things. Could this be a year yeah. where both of these guys are screaming off the edge for a year? Put in position. I think that the last regime did not do a good enough job of putting players in position to be successful. Um, Absolutely. And I think that's what Nolan, uh, Tom Zula, what these guys want to do. Now, Joe, back to the draft for a second. <clears throat> that's the name right there is Jeffrey Okuda. For some reason, if Detroit wants to bail, okay, you're not married. I know everybody wants a receiver. I'm not married to a receiver in the first round. I'm just not. I love Henry Ruggs. But if I can get a once-in-a-generation in a corner, and I'm not going to let what happened to me with Morris Claiborne affect my draft. You see what I'm saying, Joe? Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to let yeah. that I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to go up, and I'm going to get a Jeffrey Okuda. Um, I'm going to get, you know, hey, if you – you know, if you if you have another player that you covet, um, I'm gonna go up and get him. If hey, if it's a Derrick Brown and he starts to slide, hey, it, whatever you want to do to make your team over the top, because I think offensively you're in good shape, right? Um, I know people want to get a C.D. Lamb or want to get a guy in a slot. I can get that in the third round. I can get that in the second. You know, whatever. It the, the name to me. Akuda Henderson, maybe um, if if you if you're feeling like he's not gonna get to 17 and you've graded him, you know C.J. Henderson, you hit it on the head, Joe. He's not gonna be there at 17. There's there's high. These teams are are cornerback hungry. Look look at Byron Jones. If you love him or hate him, he he hit the market right on time because the there wasn't anybody else really good. He was the premium guy. He was the A one you know, guy that people wanted to covet, and he got scooped up like that. Listen, he got scooped up, and Cowboys fans, you know, and I'll, I'll throw myself in that bunch, kind of, you know, didn't appreciate him while he was here. So I guess the point is, if you if you covet one of those two guys, you know, a team like Tampa is, you know, watch a Tampa, watch a Jacksonville. Um, you're going to have to get in front of those teams. Um, and I, not for one second do I think that Jacksonville is going to draft a receiver. They're going to draft a corner. So it, it'll be interesting to watch, Joe. I think that, you know, and, and, and even, you know, the wishful thinking of, you know, hey, a Ken Law fall or it, that stuff, 
Dallas did a great job with this free agency period covering themselves. And now, you know, I really want fans to watch for that. Um, because to me, um, th- that's the name. If, 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 if for some reason Detroit wants to bail, somebody wants to get up and get uh, to it. And Detroit bails, right? And now Akuta's hanging around at 7 or 8. I can see Dallas going up. Um so it'll it'll be interesting and it'll be something to watch, Joe. Um Joe, as always, thank you for your time. Thank you for the work you do. Can you plug yourself, Joe? Let people know where they can find your work. Guys, first of all, shout out to Foots. Thanks for having me on. It's been a while. And we'll definitely, you know, get together for another uh probably more draft centric show. Um I'll have I'll have Foots on, on, on my channel. But man, you guys Keep doing what you're doing. Stay safe out there. You can find me on YouTube, Cowboys Blog. Hit me up on YouTube, Cowboys Blog. Twitter, Instagram, it's Cowboys Blog Net. And, um, you know, I'll try to give you a follow back and we can talk Cowboys football, baby. Yeah, Joe does a really good job of um, his topics on Twitter. Great follow. Um, And obviously on YouTube, he hits everybody, as many people as can. His, His YouTube channel is growing. Me and Joe have been at it for a while. Stay true, stay buddies. Anytime. I mean, I just called Joe on a whim. Hey, Joe, I just want to talk some football with you, man. And one of the people I trust, um, he's not going to BS you. He's not going to give you fluff. He's not going to tell you what you want to hear, Cowboys fans. And you know what? This is one of those times where we are being optimistic. We've been burned before. Hopefully uh, this, 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 shows, this shows well. Joe, thanks for coming on, man. Um, you guys go give him a follow, spread this video around, and uh, we'll be back soon. Peace. Peace.